Hey everybody, so I'm out and about alone today. Um, I left Arlo and Lucy um, back home because I had to go run down to Payson and run some errands, do some grocery shopping and stuff. But I stopped along the way because I wanted to check out these uh, pinion pine trees to see if uh, there are any pine nuts. Um, and unfortunately, um, I don't see any uh, uh, pine nuts right now, um, but I'm gonna keep looking here. But I did find um, that all of these uh, uh, manzanita plants uh, do have just uh, millions of uh, dried berries on them. So I'm gonna collect some of those. Manzanita plants are one of my uh, absolute favorite desert plants. Uh, they're just so beautiful. They have these uh, coppery colored uh, branches, uh, especially after the rain. But you can see with the sun shining, I'm here. And they do have uh, delicious edible uh, berries. Now, manzanita means little apple. And the uh, Native Americans used to use uh, these berries and make sort of a cider-like drink from them. Um, now, if you catch the, uh, the plants earlier in the season, uh, in the spring or early summer, um, they're all in beautiful uh, pink blooms all over them. And uh, those uh, flowers can be used to uh, make a, a delicious uh, sweet drink. It has a lot of uh, nectar in the flowers. And then later, the berries uh, become ripe and they're like little tiny little apples, just like the name uh, implies. And uh, you can uh, harvest those. They're delicious. They're really tart. Um, and uh, they, you can make a... a uh, a cider or a drink out of that. Um, I like to find them at this stage when they've already been dried out. Um, look at here's a whole bunch of them. Now I like to collect these dry berries uh, because I can uh, put them in a mortar and pestle and uh, grind them up and use it as a seasoning. Um, imagine uh, a really tart flavor uh, like, uh, like a rose hip. And uh, you can uh, mix that with uh, black pepper and it's sort of like a southwestern lemon pepper seasoning and you put that on uh, meat, a piece of pork, oh, it's delicious. Um, so that's probably what I'm gonna do with these. Um, also make some tea. Um, so I'm gonna collect uh, a few of these while I'm down here. Look at all those berries. And if you taste them like this, they're very tart, definitely like a rose hip. Um, but they do have seeds in the center, um, so you just have to eat the uh, the husk that's around it, um, or the fruit, the dried fruit that's around it. Um, very good. I love finding uh, these uh, dried manzanita berries on the bush uh, because the hard work's already been done. Um, with the airflow and all that, they're just perfectly dried. I mean, look at that. I've uh, spent, I was less than 10 minutes out here and I've already filled up uh, most of this bottle here. So that's gonna be great. I'm just gonna fill this up and then uh, we'll uh, head back home.
So this is a single leaf pinion pine tree. And uh, there's a whole bunch of them around here. I mean, there's there's a whole big uh, band of them that, that runs across just uh, across pine and uh, north of Payson and all that. There's a whole area that uh, has a lot of these pinion pines. And uh, in previous years, I've been uh, able to uh, find pine nuts here. Um, I see a few uh, cones up there. But not a ton of them, um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure exactly um, how often uh, the pinion pines um, produce uh, the pine nuts, um, produce the cones and the fruit, uh, but uh, I know it's not every year, maybe every couple of years, but I know that uh, there are people that travel around the southwest trying to figure out <laughs> which uh, pinion pines are um, producing. Um, I don't see uh, these producing uh, right now, but I might not be in a good area, um, so I'm going to keep looking a little bit, but... Uh, um, but I did score uh, with uh, this, uh, I filled up this whole bottle uh, with manzanita berries. Um, and we'll do some fun stuff with that later. Well, I'm back from Payson and I have my uh, manzanita berries. Now, I've already uh, uh, picked through these and removed most of the stems and some of the debris that was in there. So uh, these are uh, all nice and clean. I'm planning on making a manzanita berry spice rub uh, that I'm going to put on a, a pork tenderloin. So let's get started with that first. All right, so what I have to work with today to make the spice rub, I have our manzanita berries. I have black peppercorns, uh, sea salt, of course, a mortar and pestle, and then I have a strainer to uh, strain out the seeds once I'm done. So let's get started on this and see how it works. Um, I'm trying to keep this spice rub really simple, so I'm only going to put in three ingredients um, and see how it tastes. I really want the manzanita flavor to shine through, and I don't want to overpower it with a bunch of other things, other spices and garlic and things like that. So let's see how this comes right, out. So our first step is we're going to take some of these manzanita berries and put them in the mortar and pestle. Okay, and then I'm going to put them in the strainer here and set that aside and we'll do the rest of these here. So we're just trying to sift out some of the, um, all of the seeds and some of the skin here and uh, we'll be left with that manzanita powder. Hmm. Look at that. Okay, now that we have our manzanita powder, hmm. I'm going to try it. Hmm. That's delicious. It's really sweet and it has a little tartness to it. Um, I know that the Native Americans used to use this as a sweetener, um, like, a, like a sugar, um, but it is really delicious. So the next step is I'm going to uh, crush up some black peppercorns and add the salt and then we'll have our spice rub completed. All right, so once again, we're gonna come back to our mortar and pestle here and I'm gonna take some of these uh, black peppercorns, some of those in there. Line those up. Okay, we're gonna add this to our manzanita. 
I'll put a little bit for right now. And then some of the sea salt. Taste a little bit. Mm. That tastes really good. It tastes like, uh, like I was saying, sort of a southwestern um, lemon pepper spice. Um, the tartness and the tanginess of the of the manzanita and the spiciness from the black pepper. Uh, it's going to be perfect. And it's going to be great on a piece of pork. So we've made our spice rub. And now I'm ready to complete the rest of the dish. Uh, what I'm going to make today is a manzanita berry crusted pork tenderloin uh, with a apple and onion relish. Uh, so uh, I really want to carry through with those uh, manzanita apple-like flavors. So I'm going to make an apple relish to go with that. So uh, I think it's going to be really good. All right, I'm ready. So this is what we're going to work with today. I have our pork tenderloin, which I've uh, cut into medallions. We have our manzanita spice rub, which we made before. I have uh, one apple sliced, a half of an onion sliced, um, butter, uh, some scallion for garnish, uh, a little lemon for our, uh, our relish, um, and some chiltepines, of course, um, some apple juice, uh, heavy cream, and uh, olive oil. And that's it. I like to keep my recipes as simple as possible with as few ingredients as possible um, because I really like the, the flavors of the individual uh, ingredients to show through. So Okay, let's get started on our apples. Um, so we're going to start with some butter, always a good amount of butter. Okay, to our butter we're going to add our onion. So this is a, a half of an onion sliced. And we just want to cook this down slowly uh, to caramelize the onions a little bit. So we're just starting to get a tiny little bit of color on these onions. And this is a perfect time to add our apples. So this is uh, one apple sliced. And we want to uh, cook this down as well and get some caramelization. Now the sugars from the apples are really going to speed this up. It's going to uh, start to brown up pretty good here. I think to this, I'm going to add uh, some of our manzanita spice rub. Okay. That'll really help carry through with that manzanita flavor. And actually, I'm going to put a squeeze of lemon in here as well. Ooh. Wow, that's looking great. And then lastly, for this, I'm going to put in our chiltepines. So I have my uh, three chiltepines. We'll crush those into there. Actually, I'm going to put four. I've got four. I'll put another one. That's really going to kick that up quite a bit. Look at that. Beautiful caramelization going on there. We just want those apples to soften up just a little bit, and then we'll uh, cook our pork tenderloin. Okay. That looks perfect. Hmm. And taste one of these apples here, taste a little piece. Mm. Wow, that tastes really good, and those filter beans really kicked it up. It's got a real good kick to it. Okay, so while our pan is getting hot, I'm going to take our pork tenderloin medallions and I'm going to crust them with our uh, 
manzanita rub. Just like that. Hmm. Oh, that's great. Okay, to our hot pan, I'm going to add a little olive oil. And then we have our pork medallions. We'll get those in there. Those are looking really good. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them aside. I'm going to take them off the heat and uh, I'm going to put them aside here. And then uh, we will work on our sauce. So to this pan right here, I'm going to add some uh, apple juice to the pan. Mm. And I'm going to cook down a little bit. I'm actually going to put this uh, little piece of, uh, of juniper in here. And that's just, just add a tiny touch of flavor to this. So we get apple juniper flavor here. And then we're going to let that cook down until it's almost dry. Mm, I can really smell that juniper. Okay, and then I'm actually going to take that that out because it did his it did its thing. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream to this. let that thicken up add a little more butter put this to here So we'll set that aside. All right, let's plate this up. Okay, we're going to start with our uh, caramelized apple relish. We're going to put that right in the center, just like that. And then our uh, pork tenderloins, just like that, just like that. Looking good already. Um, our sauce. that on there some of those scallions and then I'm going to put our uh, our juniper uh, branch right on top of there mm. looking good all right, there it is. Uh, this is a manzanita berry crusted pork tenderloin with a caramelized apple and onion relish. Mm, I can't wait to get into this. Look at that. Mm. Now look at that. The uh, pork is still nice and pink on the inside. It's nice and tender. Mm. Mm. 
that is delicious. Now that manzanita adds that nice apple flavor, which we really accentuated with uh, the apple and onion relish. Let me try that. Mm. That is really good. The apples are still have a little crispness to them, uh, but they're uh, but they're tender to eat. Um, the sauce also has the apple juice in it too, um, so we're really carrying through with all those um, apple flavors. Uh, this this dish really works really well. Mm. Have another piece of pork. I just want to show you how nice that pork looks. It's still slightly pink, um, perfectly tender. Mm. Oh man, and that chiltepina in there really kicks it up. Has a nice spiciness to it. Oh, I mean, look at that. That is so good. Mm. It's important to get a nice crust on your uh, on your pork tenderloin. Make sure your pan is really hot, um, so you get that nice uh, crispy crust on there. These apples, oh man! This dish really feels like fall. That is so freaking good. Oh man. Mm. Now there's still a lot of manzanitas out there, so get yourself out there and start picking. I still have a lot of them left, but uh, I'm gonna have to maybe get some more and uh, have a bunch for the winter time. This is so good. If you like this sort of thing, you like watching me eat again, um, please like this video. Please subscribe. That always helps us a lot. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I always love to read those. And um, really appreciate you following along with another one of our adventures. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. I don't know, but today, I think this is the best thing I've ever cooked in my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rawr.